Hey YouTube, so in this video I'm going to go over the new best ball player build that you can have. I uh, made a ball player video a couple weeks ago, uh, you guys blew that one up, it did really well. But this is ball player is a little bit different, uh, his attributes are going to be a little bit better on the hitting side of it. A uh, little less speed, a little less fielding, but um, if you guys like this video, like it. And uh, if you guys want to see more tips, tricks, um, you know, debuts, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. So now getting into this video. As you can see here, my ball player is shortstop. It's the same guys last time, but the loadout is different. Um, different build, which is why I want to go over with you guys. Um, I've been going crazy with this build and uh, and online and ranked. Um, he absolutely rakes. I'm going to show you guys everything from the stance to the stats, everything. So here's how it's a little different, right? So in the other video, I had the anomaly. This video is going to be the Duke. Now, I have it maxed out. Uh, you're going to want this maxed out to, you know, have the best stats possible. My ball player is pretty much maxed out the whole way. Um, also, I have the power archetype. Last video, I forgot to mention that. The power archetype, I think, is very good. Uh, if you did contact, that one's also good. But for to get the Duke, you need the power archetype. I have contact 3 on it. I have power 3. I have contact 4. And I have power 2. Um, these help, obviously, the power and the contact. Um, and... For me, it's worked very well. I've kind of switched them in and out, but I think this is the best four that I, you know, I've found. So now I'm going to go over the equipment with you guys. So the sunglasses, I only have gold sunglasses. Um, to get better fielding, I'm going to need to, you know, invest in a diamond one eventually. But for now, we just have gold. Um, I have a gold compression sleeve for the arm accuracy. This player does have 99 arm accuracy, or sorry, arm strength. Um, I have, I do have this legendary ritual call. I know it costs a lot. If you guys can't get it, there's other good ones as well that cost about half of it. But this is the best one you can have in the game. So if you can get it, go get it. Um, if not, there's other things you can do to substitute it. But that is the best one, and I have it. Um, I don't use a wrist guard. The batting gloves, I have the trout batting gloves. I got lucky and pulled this one. Um, it gets plus six contact, plus five power. It's really good. Now the back grip, uh, if you go and do the Jackie Robinson um, program, you get a free back grip, plus four contact, plus, five, plus four power. It's really good. Um, so go do that. All you need to do is get one hit in that program to get the Jackie Robinson back grip. Also, the bat. The Shoei Otani bat, if you pre the game, is still the best one. Um, if you don't have that one, you can use this MLB Prime Maple C271. Um, it's really good. I'm pretty sure you can get it from uh, one of the programs, just grinding it a little bit. Not hard to get. Um, there's also a lot of plus six ones you can get. The Jackie one's plus six, plus six. Um, but overall, the Shoei one's the best, and this Louisville Slugger one is the second best bat. <laughs> So on the socks, these socks you also get from doing the Jackie Robinson program. You get plus six speed, plus eight steel. Really good. Again, one hit, go get them. Um, you're going to need it for your for your ball player. Um, cleats, I did pull these cleats as well. I got really lucky with my equipment while grinding my player, but it gives plus 14 speed, plus 10, sp plus 10 steel. Really good cleats. Um, I would invest in cleats a lot, so your player can be as fast as possible. Shin guard doesn't really matter. doesn't really do anything. Leg guard doesn't matter. Um, fielding glove, I do have this fielding glove. It's pretty good. Plus 12 fielding, plus 6 arm. If you can find a better one, go find one. I really haven't looked, but this is the one I use. Um, my fielding is only a bronze in this guy, which you'll see here in a minute. But I, he actually fields the ball really well for having low fielding stats. Um, he barely makes any errors. I don't want to jinx him, but he barely makes any errors right now. He plays really well for me. Um, and then I don't really use any of these. I do use an elbow guard, but it doesn't really do anything. It's discipline and durability. It doesn't really matter. So now uh, I'm going to show you guys um, the... Uh, stance and everything that I use for him. So in the appearance. So first off for height, my guy is six foot. Weight doesn't matter, but for six foot, I feel like that gives me a decent size strike zone. I didn't want to make him, you know, six foot seven. He's huge, have a big strike zone. For me, I personally don't like that. Uh, if you want to, if you're comfortable with a smaller strike zone, make him smaller. But for me, six foot is the perfect height for me. Um, and he rakes. Um, so for the motions and sounds, my batting stance, I use Josh Bell and just strictly the normal Josh Bell. I rake with the regular Josh Bell card with the face of the franchise one. I put it on my guy. I've been raking with him ever since too. This is the best batting stance in my opinion. It fits me personally, but you know, use the one that fits best for you. That's my best advice. Use the batting stance that fits best for you. That's going to help you tremendously. Um, and now I'm just, I just want to go show you guys what he actually looks like in game. So we're going to go here and to play CPU game. If you don't know how to Final tree. It looks like his actual stats. You can go here, single player mode, play CPU. You don't have to go into an actual game. Click this, click home. Um, we're going to wait till it loads up here. We're going to select any park. We're just trying to see the guy's stats. That was Keiko. And then if you go over here, you're going to see that my, my ball player, 73 speed, which is solid in this game. Not 99, but it's very solid. This guy is focusing on hitting the baseball. Um, he has 122 contact right and left. Very good. 118 power right, 120 power left. 
um, and 99 arm with 63 fielding. I told you the fielding is only bronze, but for me, he's played very well, makes a ton of great plays. If you guys go watch some of my YouTube videos, you'll see he makes diving plays. He's a monster. Um, but he rakes. This is to me is the best build that you can have. It is again the Duke archetype. Um, if you want your ball player to rake like mine, and you know you want him, uh, if you want him in general, you just need to grind for him. Again, road to the show, best way to do it. Um, you get a lot of XP towards your program if you haven't done it already, and you get a really good ball player in return. So again, guys, I think this is the best ball player that you can have right now. I think you guys should like this video if you found it helpful to you. Uh, try this build out, and again, uh, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thanks for watching.